live in a time where people are getting more marketing messages and more communication than they ever have before, where facts don't seem to matter, where almost everything that we say is politicized. People are busy and crowded. Our heads are always in our phones. We're always getting messages. I think we're also living in a time where people aren't really talking to people with different opinions. So how do you break through the clutter and have the impact that you want to have? That's what persuasion is really all about. So what this book is designed to do is give everyone, whether it's in business or in their personal life, the tools they need to be able to have better conversations with people who they disagree with. So whether you're a business person who's trying to get somebody to buy your product, or you're a communicator who's trying to improve the reputation of a company, or you're just someone who's trying to have a conversation with your uncle at Thanksgiving dinner, um, without getting into a fight, <laughs> um, this book can help you. Active empathy means the burden is on you to understand someone else's point of view. This definitely does not mean that you have to agree with these things, but it does mean that you're willing to suspend your own judgment long enough to be able to see the world from their perspective. So say I'm overwhelmed at work, and what I want to do is go in and ask my boss for another hire. I could go in and say, listen, I'm overworked and I need help, but that's all about me and my needs. He could respond saying, you know what, you're not doing your job properly, and it could get contentious. So the question that you might want to ask is how can I frame my request in a way that's going to be heard considering his needs? So for example, you could say something like, I'm knee deep in paperwork, which takes me away from serving clients. And if I'm not serving clients, that could put the company in peril. And that's most likely to be his biggest concern, the financial health and the health of the company. So now I'm looking to meet his needs. I'm framing the argument based on what might benefits my boss, not necessarily what benefits me. So he's much more likely to say yes. Mm -hmm.